White is a multifaceted character, literally and metaphorically speaking, and in the recent 496 chapter of the story, we get a flashback between White and his childhood, diving into his inferiority complex towards his father and Bomb. I believe by the time we're done wrapping up with this story, White will no longer be with us, with Bomb being the character as to why. White hates Bomb, or rather, hates what Bomb represents. Bomb has never lost his sense of self while climbing the tower. We see this with this conversation with the Blue Thressa in the Hell Train arc, rejecting strength that empowers itself in fear and hatred, calling it false power. Coincidentally, in the same arc this conversation is discussed, we are introduced to Joaquin, a character who not only embraces fear and hatred, but engulfs himself in it, even going as far as making a deal with the literal devil to obtain this strength. Despite his siblings telling him that this approach is the wrong path, he selfishly sacrificed them along with a billion lives anyway. Whereas the strength Bomb received from the souls by Elbelda towards the end of the arc, it was channeled within Bomb's own inner strength, his true self, to directly contrast White's ideals. This clash in beliefs not only became the climactic moment in the Hell Train with Bomb succeeding, but SIU taking this a step further with Bomb saving White's teammates in the Dallas show when he didn't have to. When you really break it down, White is a character that embodies the tower's conflicts. How much are you willing to sacrifice oneself and or others to reach the top of the tower? This story didn't get the moniker the Tower of Betrayal for no reason. In order to achieve strength, White chose the route of corruption and is psychologically scarred because of it. Yet ironically enough, he only chose this path in life, getting his hands tainted with blood because of love, or put simply, seek his father's approval just like any son who would want to be acknowledged by their father. So when we look at the events that played out in the Hell Train and cut back to the present moment in the story, we will receive the same outcome with Bomb being the victor, but this time Bomb squashing White's philosophy altogether. White is honestly shocked that Bomb has still never lost his way, despite the odds being stacked against him in favor of becoming corrupt. Obviously, White would feel inferior to Bomb. His beliefs and ideals are being proven to be wrong yet again in the cat tower with white basically admitting it himself in this recent flashback with white joaquin feels horribly disgusted that his hands had to be stained with blood with each soul devoured by joaquin he's lost a sense of himself he's changed for the worse and hates to acknowledge that he's still just a frightened child even now white is trying his best to drag bomb down to his level and see if he will give in into temptation and corruption like he did but it won't work personally i don't think we'll see bomb become corrupted or at least intentionally anyway. However, I do believe Bomb will take down White at the end of this arc, so let's break it down as to why. One, the confrontation between both characters happening specifically within the Cat Tower is a bit odd, don't you think? We have so many moving chess pieces needing to see how they need to be played out from Bomb trying to rescue Jinsu Ha, Josh Frost's conflict against Yama and freeing the cage animals, to Caliban and Lowbrick's feud, etc. Yet SIU stopped all of these narratives to focus on White's character now, even going as far as giving us a flashback with the guy? Do I need to remind you all who else received a flashback so far in season 3? And guess what happened to those characters shortly after? Also, isn't it a bit of a coincidence that Arya, who needs a spell broken, is mentioning this during White and Bomb's battle? White, who currently made a spell with a demon and Bomb, the guy who can break them? Arya also mentioned Bomb's light he used against her is much stronger now against White, which I believe is foreshadowing or a setup for what will inevitably play out when Bomb truly goes all out against White, which is breaking the spell White is currently in now. Let's talk about the three rules established about spells. One, the caster must not violate the rules of the spell once they are set. Two, the caster must receive help from a powerful medium or divine being. And three, the rank of the spell is determined by the power of the being or medium who helped with the spell. Because of these rules, some spells can be broken or neutralized by a higher ranking spell. Joaquin casted a spell that allowed him to combine the power of his siblings and assume a new identity as white, but I believe this spell will be broken or neutralized by Bomb via a new technique or transformation. White forcibly asking for Bomb to draw out more power will ironically lead to his demise. Overall, why are we seeing Bomb and White clash again here and now in the Cat Tower? Because the story warns these clash of ideals and beliefs to be hashed out to reveal that staying true to yourself, one's own inner strength, is the solution to climbing the tower. Bomb will stay true to himself to defeat White, much like in the way Yama will stay true to himself to defeat Yasracha, I would even argue to even Calavan staying true to himself to defeat Lobrick, revealing why Lobrick feels inferior to Caliban. Case closed, but that's a different story for a different day. Anyway, do you guys think White is destined to fail? And do you think he will be gone by the time we're done with the Cat Tower? Let me know in the comments down below. My name is DJ Miles, and as I always say, take care.